while the chase for Marble League glory continues here inside of the pond, we invite some others to have a slice of that glory in this, the Marble League Showdown. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Well, the non-qualified teams plus the new teams will compete on several events in this video, the first four events, with a chance to qualify for next year's Marble League. How will they do? Who will come out on top? And who among the new teams will show that they have what it takes to be a Marble League participant? We begin with the Swing Wave. Cobalts and the Solar Flares are out there to start things off. And of course, in this event, the goal is to get as far down to the troughs as you can without going into that red catch basin. And that is precisely what the Cobalts have done with two of their marbles. That nets you zero. 18 for them, 34 for the Solar Flares. Two marbles down there in that far number 10 trough. You'll notice unlike the contraption beyond them, there are no lanes in this one, so it is a free-for-all. We do, however, switch sides. Oh, but the result is the same for the Cobalts. Two in the zero. We do drop one in the 10 down there, one point lower for the Solar Flares than their first run. That was a 34 that they started with. They hold provisional P1. Snowballs and Team Plasma now. Snowballs swapping out controversially two of their team members, Snow and Snowflake. Oh, look at this! Three of them in the 10! Team Plasma and one in the 9. That is one short of a perfect score! That is a Marble League record. Oh my goodness, now I know this isn't the Marble League proper, but that's better than what was scored by the Indigo Stars in the Marble League back when they did 38. Of course, in the actual Marble League for this season, the winners, the Shining Swarm, got 37. That was three in the nine and one in the 10, but this was the other way around, and that was tremendous. Well, I think the Snowballs had to go for it here. They could uh, just coast for Team Plasma. But wow, that is going to be very tough to beat. Oceanics and the Indigo Stars come out now. The rookie among the Oceanics in ounce. Placing Shore on that one. 28 to 23. 2 0, as you can see. Trying to arrest and slow down just so you don't teeter over into that catch basin. They'll switch sides and see if they can get it a little closer this time. Down they come and they're mixing up but keeping their distance from each other. Oh, and maybe they were focusing too much on each other. Because that has three marbles too far. Two for the Indigo Stars, one for the Oceanics. Their 26 in this run, however, is good enough provisionally for third. The Wolf Pack, a brand new team this year, and the Rojo Rollers, and down they come. Wolf Pack, oh, Rojo Rollers, disastrous. Three of them in the zero, two for the Wolf Pack. That did not go well. The Wolf Pack captained by Balto with their coach, Aquila. And the coach scratching their head on that one. Hey, did you know, by the way, that 60% of our viewers aren't subscribed to this channel? Make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned about all of the future videos for Yellow's Marble Runs. Click that button down below to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. Well, we're going to try this again, see if it goes a bit better this time. The Wolf Pack, oh, they almost had two in the 10, but there was a brief bit of contact and I think that is what pushed one a bit too far. Two in the nines for the Rojo Rollers. I think they also put one in the catch basin. Yes, they did. 28 to 25. They come out on top in this head-to-head -head at least, but they cannot crack the top three. So after eight heats, 39 is the incredible mark to beat. Put down in drop number one from Team Plasma. They have a new manager this season. Ion is at the helm, trying to guide that team back to Marble League glory and 
I would say that is a promising start, or at least as promising as you can get. The Limers, they also have a new coach, Coach Key Lime, on the way to Limelight. And two apiece for these teams down in the 10. That is a fine result for the Jungle Jumpers and the Limers. 37 to 34, that's good enough for second and fourth respectively. So the Limers tied the mark for the Shining Swarm set when they won in the Marvel League. They switch them back. There was early contact. Oh, there was a shove that sent one of them well back there. Jungle Jumpers have two in the zero. Look at the Limers, one in three, looking absolutely shocked to be back there. Well, this total is not good enough for second place, of course. It is the first run, that 37. But that is what counts. No love lost between those two teams, certainly, after those collisions. The Hazers and the Blackjacks come down now. Hazers, oh, that is not a good result at all. They have one in the two, and three marbles will get a zero. Look at that. That is absolutely shocking. Of course, a new captain for this season, Misty. Remember in Murky, Hazy is out. I know there's been a lot of controversy about were those moves the right call? Or was that perhaps just a fluke run? This one looks much better, but look at that. Three in the 10. Oh man, one in the eight though. That is one point off of the new record and that puts the Blackjacks in second place. Oh, they nearly had one or two fall back into the nine, but that was wonderful teamwork and great strategy as well. Thunderbolts and Turtle Sliders now. Turtle Sliders with a lot of steam coming down there. And both teams will put two in the basin. That is bottom of the order. Look at how close they are as they crest those waves. It looked like the Thunderbolts were holding back a bit, but then their first two got just a touch too eager. They'll switch sides, coming down into the final couple of heats. Down they go. Well, that sounded like contact early on. Turtle Sliders have lost one well behind. Thunderbolts put two in the zero. Now look at that, one eight, nine, and a 10. That does get the Turtle Sliders up into seventh place. Thunderbolts, a paltry 14. Purple Rockets and Team Momo now. They're spread out nice and wide, but oh, contact down there. Three of them in the 10 this time. These teams are absolutely nailing this event. The problem is the one that did not land in the 10 landed in the zero, so that does depress the score just a bit. Boy, they could nail that one more time. Purple Rockets and Momo, down they come. Momo has one stranded well behind. And I believe each team has one go too far, three in the nine. And what does that do? 27 points. The score does not improve. Eight for the Purple Rockets. So after event number one, it is Team Plasma on top by a single point over the Blackjacks. And another point back to the Limers. One more point back to the Hazers. That was incredibly close. But a Marble League record is a fine way to start your showdown. So we go from undulating motions to a flat-out sprint. The five-meter sprint with Indigo Stars, Hazers, Turtle Sliders, and the Wolfpack. Indigo Stars come out of the gate very well. Wolfpack hanging in second place. That is how they will finish, but it becomes much closer at the line. Oh boy, did the Wolfpack get them? No, all right, my eyes were not deceiving me, but by a thousandth of a second, Diego gets by Fenrir, and that was very close. All right, outside to inside, Thunderbolts, Jungle Jumpers, Purple Rockets, and the Snowballs. Thunderbolts on the outside, they'll come across get the win by four hundredths over Saucer. And then it was Snowstorm and Hop. So we'll see in this event if it's the top two out of each that will move on and what the format is. 
Solar Flares, Blackjacks, Momo and the Limers. Solar Flares, Momo stretching it there. Limers pulling up into second place. And that is how they will cross the line. A decent gap back. Wait a minute, I hear the trumpets. And Momo Mo has set a new record. That beats Green Eyes from the Crazy Cat's Eyes. Wow, another record falling in the showdown. That was awesome. Cobalts, Rojo Rollers, Oceanics, and Team Plasma. It's Plasma and the Cobalts battling across the line. We've got another photo finish. And it will be on this near lane, Team Plasma. Firo, the captain, gets by Meepo of the Cobalts by three milliseconds. These gaps are oh so close. Ninth through 16th, they are set. The top eight will move on. Purple Rockets, Momo, Indigo Stars, and Cobalts, dead even. Indigo Stars, very close. Momo, I think, got them. Yes, they did. Not as close, oh, but it was close for the final spot there. Momo over Indigo Stars and then a thousandth of a second separating third and fourth. You don't transfer anyway, but still. Wolfpack, Plasma, Limers, and Thunderbolts. Wolfpack on the top lane will cruise to this one. Limers will net second place. They are headed to the final as well. Barely close for second place, but first and fourth, not that close at all. The Wolf Pack were running away with that one, as we see fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. On to the final. Momo, Limers, Wolf Pack, and Indigo Stars. Momo out of the gate well. Indigo Stars on the bottom lane. They're trying to hold off the Wolf Pack, but they can't do it. The newcomers get the win. What a run to the line battling from behind, and they win it by five thousandth of a second. Fenrir, what a run. He did have that record set by Momo Mo. And as we take a look at the standing so far, it is Plasma over the Wolf Pack, the Limers two points back, Indigo Stars and Blackjacks. As we move outside for the water race, as we saw in the actual Marble League, this is dicey. Difficult conditions, fast moving water, and down we go. You will see the marbles come together. Oh, we're hearing that Azure got stuck. The Cobalts may be out. That is very difficult, but as fast as this water is moving. Take a look here. Plasma, I believe, is in the lead here. The Wolfpack, we're up there but I don't see anybody on the screen. All right, there's, there's somebody. We go through these couple of drops. Just off the screen there as we wait, passing the Marble League sign. Here's the next drop. Choosing your angle very carefully, getting a bit dry there. And now the speed picks up and going out of the water and losing the race. Wow, just like that, it comes at you so quickly. It is skipped from the Jungle Jumpers. We barely knew ye in this race getting by Team Plasma. Wow, that was actually very close. Oh, and there you see, right in the middle. That is unusual to get stuck in this race. The Cobalts notch dead last, unless somebody gets stuck on the starting gate or maybe a few stones back behind. That will be the shortest distance. I'm just kind of sitting there wallowing and thinking, oh, what could have been? The next eight in the blocks for Heat 2. Down they go. Anybody going to get stuck back there? Yes, same position. Oh my, Nemo is stuck. That is going to cause the committee to have to talk about some things. Race control is going to need to figure that out. It is Snowy, the captain of the Snowballs, who is out in front right now. Don't see anybody back behind. But when you get through those drops, especially down there in the farthest part of this course, a lot can change. There you see a couple of battles. Limer's just falling off the screen. Wolfpack back there. Here's where the speed picks up. Going high up there and losing all of the speed. The Wolfpack closed right up, but can't get by. Oh, wow, the door was open. 
That was extremely close. 600th. Snowy over Sheep. Look at that. Barely a length between them. But yeah, that, uh, that early run with that track defect in the same spot. Well, the committee is definitely going to have to talk about that. I would imagine that there may be some points that are awarded in that tie for 15. Yikes. All right. The final. We are ready to go. Long hold in the gate, and down they come. Wolfpack out to the early lead. Blackjacks are very close up there. Wolfpack have fallen back now to fourth place. I don't think anybody got stuck up on that track defect, so at least we are past that point. Looking down here as the speed is picking up a couple of very close battles. Wolfpack is in there. I think Rojo Rollers. Our leader of the Blackjacks well up in front through the next drop. We've seen several marbles make some mistakes and go well out of the water. That is not really the faster way to go, contrary to what you might think. This motion of the water can actually give you more speed than if you stay out of it. Great example right there. And that is how you win a race. Wolfpack will come in second place. And Team Plasma barely get third just in front of the Turtle Sliders dash. Thankfully, nobody got stuck on that one. It was a straight battle. And yeah, both Cobalts and Team Momo will get one point because they got stuck on the same place. I'm not going to penalize uh, either one of them there any more than they already have. All right, three out of the four new teams are in the top three. Team Momo dropped five spots. They're down there in 12th, surprisingly, as we get ready for the five-meter relay. Off they go. First handoff. Favoring down in the... Oh, now it's the Oceanics in the top lane. The anchor will come across. And that was a photo finish once again. Oh, and it will be Oceanics just doing enough. They pip Team Plasma. Limers and Snowballs will go no further. Solar Flares, Cobalts, Purple Rockets, and the Hazers in Heat 2. Hazers, first to the first handoff, but it's swung back down to the bottom lane. Hazers with the anchor, and they'll coast. Nicely done. Good teamwork. They were operating from behind for most of that run. And it was late in the penultimate handoff. And in the final handoff, it made all the difference in the world. Captain Misty has to be happy about that one. Turtle Sliders, Wolfpack, Indigo Stars, and the Rojo Rollers. Turtle Sliders, whoa! Well out in the lead, and that one was easy. Ooh, Indigo Stars with a wonderful anchor to get second place. Yes, they did. They were not quite two tenths back. But it was very close between them and the Rojo Rollers. Jungle Jumpers, Thunderbolts, Momo, and the Blackjacks. Jungle Jumpers, a nice jump out of the opening gate. Oh, terrible out of the first handoff, however. Bottom lane. Easy for the Blackjacks. Jungle Jumpers, however, that just came completely undone for them. Blackjacks cruised. Jumpers went to dead last. They're celebrating in the stands because that was just what they needed to move on. Ninth through 16th, however, they're done. Semi-final A, Solar Flares, Oceanics, Turtle Sliders, and the Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts will hit the first handoff, but they've lost it, Solar Flares. Now Turtle Sliders on lane three, can they hold them off across the line? Yes. Look at how close this ended up being. 40 thousandths of a second. Turtle Sliders. Looking good. Plasma, Hazers, Blackjacks, and Indigo Stars. Team Plasma. Now it's the Hazers, Indigo Stars. Hazers, final anchor leg. Whoa, Indigo Stars fired out of a cannon. That looked easy. That anchor was just waiting to go. So they and Team Plasma will be moving on to the final. Hazers, 
Solar Flares, Oceanics, and Blackjacks. They notch fifth through eighth. Indigo Stars, Turtle Sliders, Thunderbolts, and Team Plasma. Team Plasma, looking good. Turtle Sliders, they are lengthening that lead. They get the win. The Turtle Sliders by a tenth of a second over Team Plasma and the Thunderbolts. Indigo Stars, four lengths back in fourth. Turtle Sliders. They are working their way up the order in the lead. Thunderbolts up six spots. Team Plasma up front, by the way. Blackjacks, Turtle Sliders, Wolfpack, Indigo Stars, and the Limers. And we will see you in mid-December for events five through eight for the Marble League Showdown.